Abu Dhabi Dude! Hi there, this is Abu Dhabi Dude! Welcome back! And today, I'm out and about! We can go places, we can do things! Um, unfortunately, it's a really boring trip I had to make where uh, we had to visit a, uh, a home office department uh, for processing of my wife's uh, extension of her visa. So uh, that was my first trip out after uh, after lockdown eased. Marvellous. Uh, so we had to come all the way to Newcastle, which was nice. It's a lovely day, as you'll see once, uh, once I do some of the exterior shots, but it's a beautiful drive down. Was it 11 degrees at the moment? Um, yeah, so good weather for a drive. It was about 160 mile trip. Um, it was easy. Did the whole thing without charging. Um, and now that I'm here, she's in being grilled by the powers that be. And I have come to, don't know if you can see it. There we go. Fast Ned. My first experience of a Fast Ned. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm charging here. We arrived, we're a bit high um, for a perfect charging curve. So I don't think I'll get over 100 kilowatts or even 100 kilowatts out of at the moment. We've got 27%, uh, I think it is. So um, yeah, we'll get plugged in and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to do it twice, actually. I'm going to plug in uh, using the, and then start up using the app. But then I'm going to stop the charge. I'll, I'll time it and work out the charging curve roughly all the way to 80%. But then I'm going to stop it, unplug, and then I'm going to plug back in and I'm going to try the plug and charge function because apparently once you've used FastNed once, um, you get a facility whereby it will then recognize the card. It's now linked to my account or will be linked to my account after I've used it once. And then they will uh, just automatically bill me to the card that's, that's on file with them just by plugging my car in. So a sort of Tesla-ish experience. Um, so after I've done my charge here, I'll do that. Um, it's a nice little site. It's right behind St. James's Park, basically, the football stadium. Um, and we got four 50 kilowatt chargers and two 175 kilowatt chargers. Um, there's no solar canopies here, um, so I was just checking in case I missed them somewhere, but no, there's no solar canopies here. But um, yeah, nice little charging site. Good. So let's, uh, let's get out there and see how it goes. Okay, so just wander around the car, get to the charger. If I just pull off the, oops, sorry, if I just pull off the, sorry, the cables are in the way. <laughs> pull off the nozzle, the nozzle. Jeez. Yeah, you know, the connector, there we go. And then on the bike round. Oops, get that plugged. Ooh, it's cumbersome cable and it's quite a tight. Oh, it's not ideal for the eye pace, this one, I have to say, but <clears throat> there we go. It's him, it's him. Okay, then I will fire up the app. Let me get the app fired up. Okay, you can see, um, there we go. Tap on that, right, and we are at charger number six, it says. So I'll start that. Okay, there we go, and now we should be charging. There we go, okay, well, I'm going to leave that charging up for now and I'm going to cut to the studio aka my living room and uh, we'll go through the charging speeds and the charging curve. So here we are back in the studio um, and uh, yeah just go through what we got out of that in terms of charging speeds etc. Um, I'll show you the app running alongside here but I'll edit it to the points I'm going to talk about. I'm not going to make you sit and watch the full 40 minute charging session. Um, I'm sure you'll be pleased to know. So um, 
as expected, because we plugged in at 27%, we didn't get that 100 kilowatt charging uh, speed. But plugging in at 27, we got uh, 88 kilowatts uh, charging speed, which is pretty much as expected in all honesty. Um, that was then maintained all the way up to 45%. Then from 46 onwards, it started tapering, just a slow taper. So at 50%, we were getting about 80 kilowatts. Um, and then you can see it tapering down to 55%. Uh, with 73 kilowatts, still a decent speed, 60%, we're getting 67 kilowatts. So it's tapering off pretty much steadily, really, in a, almost a straight line. 65%, uh, 63 kilowatts. And then when we got to 70, we were down at 60 kilowatt charging speed. Still not bad, though. 75%, 56 kilowatts. And then at 80%, where I stopped the charging session, it dropped to 50 kilowatts. Now, that's not bad if you think about it. All the way up to 80%, we were getting more than 50 kilowatt charging, which is actually quite good, especially when you consider a couple of years ago, 50 kilowatts was the fastest charger you could get outside of the Tesla network, I know. <laughs> but, yeah, there weren't... Uh, there either weren't any or certainly not many faster than 50 kilowatts available in Britain when I got my iPace and none in Scotland. So yeah, there you go, faster than 50 kilowatts all the way up to 80%. Uh, the whole session from 27 to 80 took, uh, percent that is, took 40 minutes, which obviously means it's slower than the advertised 0 to 80% time uh, by Jaguar, but... As I say, if you plug in above 20%, you're not really likely to get 100 kilowatt charging. If you want 100 kilowatts, you really need to be below 20% when you plug in. Um, it was also 11 degrees. It was a nice day, but 11 degrees is kind of suboptimal for batteries as well. So that may have played a small part in it. Probably not a big element, but it could have played a small part in the, in the charging session. But overall, 40 minutes to get to 80%. I was happy with that and, uh, and it felt good. So I've done a graph for you um, just to show you how that char charging curve looked. Um, the orange line is the power added in kilowatt hours. The green line is the state of charge and the blue line is the charging power in kilowatts. And then the x-axis at the bottom there is just from 0 to 40 minutes. So you can see um, that first minute there, it just ramped quickly up to that 88 kilowatts. Held that more or less steady all the way up to 45%. That was about 11, 12 minutes. And then just tapered down from 88 kilowatts down to 64 kilowatts after about 22 minutes. Um, at that point, we were about 62% state of charge. And then it tapered much slower then, down to 50 kilowatts at uh, 80%. And uh, yeah, quite, uh, it's an interesting charge curve, the I-PACE, because a lot of cars do steps, you know, it'll suddenly drop from 88 to 65, for example, and then hold 65 for a long time and then suddenly drop to 50 where the I-PACE just does this slow tapering that you can see there, rather than suddenly stepping down. Um, sorry, but that just appeals to the nerd in me. The app, so easy to use. Um, I didn't really talk about it at the time, but when you open the app, if you're at a FastNed charger at the time, it, it recognises that you're at a FastNed charger, zooms right into that charger, and... Um, shows you the charges at that site. So all I had to do there was tap charger number six. Um, I'd already plugged the car in, start the app, it zooms in, shows you the charger, tap number six, and it starts charging. Really easy to use. Um, but once you have done that first session, if you... Sorry, I should also say there, were, there are other options. You don't have to use the app. You can use... There's a contactless payment card reader 
on the front of the charger. So you can either use your Apple Watch, call up your debit or credit card on your Apple Watch, or on your phone, or you could even, like a Luddite from last century, you could uh, actually use a physical credit or debit card and, and tap that on the contactless reader. But really, how primitive is that? Um, no, you could, so uh, you didn't have to use the app at all, but by using the app, um, that allowed me to enable it for auto charge, as they call it, plug in charge, I referred to it as, but it's actually called auto charge. And to do that, what you have to do is before you use the app for the first time, you put in your vehicle details in the app, and then you um, tap on the, there's a little enable auto charge for this vehicle toggle switch. You turn that on, and then it knows that you want to use auto charge for that car. So it means that uh, after you've used it like I did there, starting it from the app, the next time you use it, you can use auto charge, which means you don't have to use the app, you don't have to use the card. It all happens as if by magic. And uh, that segues me nicely into the next point, car, like a professional broadcaster. So it's uh, back to our roving reporter on the scene in Newcastle uh, for a demonstration of auto charge. Okay, I've stopped the charge. We're actually way above 80% now because um, I just left it running while I was getting some things organized and it's gone up to 86, I think it was. But I am now going to just plug the car back in, just take the thing off the, out the holster, plug it in and see if it auto starts, if the plug-in charge now works. This is quite cool, I'm looking forward to trying this. Right, so, got the charger out the holster. Again, really quite cumbersome to connect it up, but now, I plug in and bash start. Oh my word, it works! Nothing. Just plug the car in and off it goes. <laughs> there you go, we got to 87 the last time. But look at that! How easy and cool was that? Um, yeah, nice one, Fastned. That's a really nice facility. So now anytime I go to a Fastned, um, I assume it works with the 50 kilowatts as well. Um, don't know, obviously I'll use the 175s whenever they're available. Um, but yeah, whenever I go to Fastned now, that's all I need to do is just plug the car in and it'll charge and bill me. That's brilliant. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, well, there you go. That's Fastned. One, well, two sessions in one video. Uh, but basically that's a little step-by-step -step guide to using Fastned, a review of the chargers, an explanation of the charging curve, and a little roundup all in, and a, sorry, a demonstration of, of the charging speeds. All in one video for you. Uh, so, yeah, for me, that was absolutely brilliant. I loved Fastned. I thought it was great. I liked the, uh, the way the app was so easy to use. It zoomed in straight to the chargers. It knew that I was at a Fastned site. So it was really a single tap and it was off. Um, but where I think the real strength comes in is that from now on, whenever I use Fastned, I don't have to even use the app. I can just plug that charger into my car and it will know it's me start charging and bill it to my card um, and I think that is tremendous I loved that um, and I hope that more charging companies will adopt it because um, it was it was so easy to use and you know it was a lovely day when I when I made that video but you know it's peeing down with rain I don't want to be standing there piddling about with my phone <laughs> or with my cards, or even with my watch. I just want to plug it in, 
and get back in the car before I get soaked. So that's brilliant. It was as close to the supercharger experience as you can get really without buying a Tesla and using a Tesla supercharger. Um, it was absolutely brilliant, loved it. So big thumbs up to Fastned. The good news is they've got uh, another three sites that they're gonna start building soon in the UK. Uh, they won't say where they are yet, but hopefully they're a bit more widespread. They won't be in the Newcastle area or Dundee because um, they already have them in those two locations. So hopefully we'll see them a bit further afield because I would actually use them as a preference depending on what other charges were available and where they were. But if they were convenient for me on, on a road trip, I'd be looking for a fast Ned charger really over certain other companies. I mean, they all, you know, they're not the only company I like, but they do have 175 kilowatt chargers, which some of my other favorites don't offer. Um, Obviously, I can get that speed from Ionity, but these are almost half the price. Um, so yeah, it was it was nice. It was really easy to use, um, and definite has skyrocketed up to the position of one of my favourite charging companies to use. I'd say they're not the only charging company I like to use, but that was painless. Um, so if you've enjoyed the video, that's it really for Fastned for me. But if you've enjoyed the video, then do all the usual good stuff. The liking by giving me a thumbs up, subscribing, sharing, commenting, all that good stuff. It all helps the channel gain visibility. Um, if you do subscribe, don't forget to click on the little bell because that will give you a notification every time I upload a new video and you won't miss one. Uh, if you leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about Fastned. Have you used them? Are you looking forward to using them? Do you know where their future sites are? Let me know. Um, what do you think of auto charge? Is it a gimmick or do you think it's a really good feature? Um, let me know down below and I will reply to any and all, unless it's abuse. <laughs> If you do want to subscribe, you can do that right now by clicking on my ugly little face over there. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos like this one up here. Till next time, this is Abu Dhabi Dude saying so long, take care, see you soon. Bye. Abu Dhabi Dude.